Why, hello. Hey, y'all. Um, welcome to the Wednesday workout today. Today is going to be a shorter week, so we're only going to be hitting our workouts on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then Monday, Tuesday off, Saturday, Sunday off as well, because we're going to be closed here at the gym. But exciting day. We're going to be starting our new cycle. So you have three new benchmarks this week. To start off, today you have the Diane workout. Diane is going to be a deadlift paired with handstand push-ups. Rep scheme is going to be 21, 15, 9. I'm going to talk about this one and maybe help you guys formulate an idea of how you're supposed to be attacking this one. So for myself, being the athlete I am, I know that I can do handstand push-ups, but my capacity isn't necessarily at a level where I can do 21. So my thought process is, you want to choose the movement that is going to be most likely unbroken for all of your reps. That's going to be the same stipulation for your deadlift. So it's going to be a quick, quick, quick workout. Um, don't think of this as a time, even though you can do the RX movement or the rec movement to practice, this next six week period is going to be a great time to get more volume in and training with these specific movements. For this workout specifically, think on broken and fast. So keep that in mind when you um, come around to that Wednesday workout. It's gonna be a really fun one. To follow, we have a movement that we haven't really seen much here in the gym, so I'm gonna talk about that as well. It is the reverse plank bench. So the way it works, I have it set up right here. Just need two benches, and then ideally you'd have a buddy who's going to be loading it for you. I'm going to show you what the movement looks like first, and I'm going to talk about what kind of muscle activation we're going to have during it. So for this, we're going to have shoulders up on your top bench, feet down on your bottom bench, and then think you want those hips to shoot up and high. So you're coming up on those shoulders as much as you can, keeping nice, straight, and extended legs, and then you're going to keep those hips high by activating your glutes, your hamstrings, and your erectors down your back. Trina is going to load right on top of my hips, I'm going to attempt to keep this position Whoa. like so. And so this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you deload it yourself, but that's going to be the movement. If the weight is breaking that posterior chain activation at any point, think about choosing a different load. You want to be able to stay activated throughout that whole movement. So have fun with the day and good luck testing this week.